Hello everyone. I'm going to give a little update on what's been going on and I've been asked how am I doing because I know I've been talking about other things going on in the van lately and also I've been talking about my Omnia stovetop oven which I absolutely love because I'm able to have pizza, you know, and all kinds of baked goods. And, and I'll be sharing more about my Omnia oven and why I have just absolutely think that it has been a huge game changer for me since I have been traveling in the van for almost five years now. It's amazing. I'm coming up to my anniversary this August. I can't believe it's been that long. But anyways, more on that later on. But I want to give a, just a little update uh, where I'm at, what's been going on, and let's get started. Well, my journey, as I mentioned, started five years ago, coming up this August, that I ended up in a roommate situation with my two dogs at that time I'm trying to keep us together because I no longer could work because of some disabilities I had spinal issues and I had uh, and I have <laughs> arthritis in my hips and some other issues that just complicated my ability to work a full-time job lucky I had enough money saved up uh, with the retirement and also from the sale of a house that I was able to just make up for lost time and go hit the road with my two dogs and start traveling around because who knows how long my body is going to work with me to allow me to do this so I have been making up for lost time that I had struggled um, trying to work 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 you know and keep up with my body then I just said I'm done okay so I ended up getting the van and traveling up to this point I I also have been looking for a new place or domicile um, and home base where I'm going to want to live to finish out my retirement because I am 60 years old and I'm looking for that place that is going to just be sweet um, overall climate to be able to retire in. So that has been my story in the short version of it. But if you do want the longer version of all the issues and kind of some of the things that I went through, I'll put a link up above. And I did do a uh, series called Don't Give Up series. And I'll put a link to that so you can check out my full story then. During my travels I fell in love with photography and now I'm out here just capturing as much as I can with my photography and I shared on Instagram as Irene Ventures. Alright so with that in mind we are going to talk about what's been going on up to this point and I'll give a quick update okay. So this is now my new um it's too windy look. It just got so bad with the wind day after day after day and trying to get things done and stuff like that and the hat would blow, you know, blow off. So I put my band around the hat and that really does help keep it on my head. So that has been a good thing because I always try to protect my uh, eyes and everything and face as much as I can uh, from the sun when I'm outside. But I'm going to share my Mother's Day adventure because we took the bikes and we went on a Mother's Day little bike ride and did a geocache 
um, journey. So I'm going to share a quick clip that I shared on Instagram and some pictures and it was just a really fun time. It was my second time geocaching but my first actual geoca geocache um, find. Alright, so let me share that with you guys. First geocache. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, nice to find it. Went through a lot to see it. So next, about my van redo, I have not been able to finish. It actually became too overwhelming because of the wind. I really needed to be able to get as much of everything out of my van to be able to work on getting things organized and put away. So I haven't uh, been able to finish like this bag. I still have some of these wicker baskets that I still have to deal with and put some stuff away and a few more things in, in my tent that need to get put away. So I just actually crashed. My body crashed. I've been rebooting between, you know, the exhaustion that I went and ordering things and getting to the post office and trying to get this van done so I've kind of took a step back and just relaxed rested enjoyed my life a little more riding my bike um, baby uh, which is a rad mini which I know I still need to do a video on that I hope to get that done soon so I could share my e-bike with you all. In the meantime, what's currently going on is let me show you. All right, so I had to get a new tent. <laughs> My other one just disintegrated basically from the sun. It just didn't have the UV protection on it. So this one's a little bigger than my other one. I really preferred to have that other one because it was perfect for just a little garage tent. But in the meantime, for now, I have this one, especially while I'm finishing my redo of my van. So it is windy again. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's just windy, windy, windy. It's calmed down a little bit more, but we are moving and we're gonna go up into higher elevation a little bit more as uh, the weather is going to heat up. So I have to get everything out of this uh, tent and <laughs> fight the wind. That's been my kind of early spring uh, battle. And then baby is over here. So yeah, I can't wait to do the video to get you caught up about baby, what's been going on and stuff like that and a little bit more about my bike. But we'll get caught up with that in another video. So here is Milo and his update is he's still doing very well. Um, for a little dog that's going to be 13 this July, he really does sleep a lot. Um, he has changed about wanting to be outside a lot. He wants to be inside um, all the time now. And then if he wants to be near me, he's really become clingy to me. He wants to be on the step down here, so I'll put something soft there for him and he'll lay on the step. He does like to be outside if it's hot just to play in the water. And then he wants to come back inside. Uh, so that has been one of the biggest change and I just think he just wants to be close to me. You know, I think dogs, I was a former dog trainer, they definitely sense, you know, their aging. They sense, um, obviously, their body is changing. And I see that too. He's a little more wobbly. Um, yeah, so especially when the wind, when it's windy, I put him on a harness and a leash. So I've got him so he won't become like a kite, you know, and go flying up in the 
um, yeah, or, or tumbleweed. So I've got him secure whenever it's windy and he has to go out for potty. I'm very overprotective with him right now because of his age. But he's holding his own and he's doing great. Now, as far as I know my channel, and I've been changing it up a little bit, and I've been doing more of the redo, and I have been trying to focus on, and I'm going to be showing more of the Omnia, my bike, and things like that, and I will be taking you on some bike rides. Um, I've I got some video clips and things like that that I'll be sharing, but I just really need things to be at a slower pace for even me right now. I really have felt my body in the last year um, really slow down with all my issues and and there's a lot so go back and see that playlist if you really want to know in depth what I battle out here or my body. But so what is going on is um, I, I have just felt more slow down. I'm more of a camper now than a traveler. And I've been feeling that for a while, but I just haven't wanted to verbally say it. And, and also with the pandemic and everything going on, um, I just pull back because of those reasons. Now the everything's opening back up and we're working through the pandemic. Um, I still will be this way until I find a home base and I come off the road, then I'm gonna travel eventually. Uh, Part-time in the future is my plans. So right now, I really am just more of a camper than a traveler. Um, now, what is the difference? Basically, a traveler might travel just more frequently. That's how I picture it. They, they see a spot, kind of like an outlander. Um, they see a spot, they stay there a little bit, a couple days, maybe a week, they move on to the next spot. Stay there a few days, move on. I sit for my duration that I'm allowed. If it's 14 days, 16 days, whatever they allow me, I stay put. Um, I do do some day trips, like maybe a day trip in there or two, and go out with the van and explore, or I do it on my e-bike. I've really gotten into photography. Photography really is where my heart is. And I have gone on to Instagram more, and that's why I've tried to get everybody over to Instagram where I could sh uh, share my pictures there because photography is really more my pace. It's, it's slower. I'm not moving around a lot. I can share the beautiful photography and things like that, and I still will do it here for those that want to stay here, but I totally get and understand those that may not want to continue to stay with my channel, but I just have to be honest with you. Um, I've never did this for the money. I did it for just for as a hobby. I knew as time went on, my body was going to slow down and change. I never could give the, the channel the attention that it needs to really set up all those B-rolls, and I could do a few, and telling the stories and showing my day by day by day, you know, because I'm not moving every day, 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 you know, I'm not traveling not every day. I'm just a lot more slower pace, especially in the last, actually even more than a year, I would say almost uh, coming up a year and a half now that I just really need to do this for my body um, because the longer I take care of my body and I keep it slowed down, I take care of myself, I am pharmaceutical free uh, because I eat well, I rest, I, I baby my body. I, I'm able to be out here, I boondock, I don't stealth, I don't go in towns, I don't do all those things that some of the other people um, do. 
uh, on their channels. So I totally am just more of a camper, boondocker, uh, photographer, and then I'm kind of been sharing some of the changes and things that I've been doing in my van. So if you would like to stay with my channel i appreciate it i would love you to still be here those that have especially been on this long journey with me but that is basically where i am right now and so um i saw that coming uh, if i could ever change things or do things different um i would i mean but i can't my body is what it is that's why i haven't been able to work a full-time job i couldn't keep up with a 40 hour week you know um job an eight hour day i just can't keep it up and i can't keep up what it takes to edit and, and video and do what's necessary to um, do a really good nice channel and I really do admire and respect those that do put out a phenomenal channel out there and I watch a lot of them um, um, but that's just never going to be me and I totally get it I understand it so that has been the update I'm doing well I'm just enjoying my retirement enjoying my e-bike and just really having a slower pace life right now um, because that's what I need that's what my body needs and and it is what it is <laughs> so that is the quick update i hope i didn't get too long there but i appreciate everyone who continues to stay here as i mentioned i will do more um you know picture videos those that admire the beauty um, or just jump over to instagram at irene's ventures over there uh, it's without the van it's just irene ventures and i'll catch you over t on instagram as well or also on the post here on youtube for those that would like to stay with me and i i totally understand those that don't i've lost so many people in the last year and a half since i've slowed down and i totally get why i really do all right but we love you all we appreciate um you all thank you for following our journey and hopefully we will see you all in that next video